Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up a sec. YouTube is telling me that 79.1% of you that are watching my videos aren't even subscribed. What type of sorcery is this? Drag that Stuart little looking ass across the screen and hit the subscribe button. Take care. See you in the video. Hello there. Boy, is this one shaping up to be yet another banging movie reaction because we are making our way to the IMDb top 250 films of all time and doing first time reactions to films I haven't seen yet. So what's going on guys? My name is Ellie Moses, a 23 year old law and film student here from Sydney, Australia. Shooting his shot, baby. Today, we're going to be watching Monty Python and the Holy Grail for the first time. I remember putting a community post out a couple weeks ago asking for comedy films to watch, films that will make me laugh out loud. And Monty Python was one of those mentioned and it so happens to be in the INDB Top 250 list. So we're killing two birds with one stone here, baby. And I hope this one is going to be an enjoyable watch. And I hope you guys enjoy the reaction. Let's get into this thing. Let's smash it. And let's have some fun. Let's go. Okay, I thought my earphones were broken for a sec. But it's just the way the sound has been designed. It was playing through my right ear. And then it switched to my left ear. <laughs> I was just checking my earphones for a sec. There we go. Is this meant to be like a joke here that the film is beginning with sort of like the closing credits? <laughs> a moose once bit my sister. <laughs> oh, oh really? She was craving her initials on the moose with the sharpened end of an interspace toothbrush given her by Svenge, her brother-in-law, an Oslo dentist, and star of many Norwegian movies. The hot hands of Oslo dentist. Billings of passion. Huge molars of Horst Nordfink. I'm pronouncing half these words wrong because of the, um, the dash that goes through the O. Um, because, yeah, Arsenal, my team, I support. We have um, Martin Odegaard or Odegaard. So is it no or um I'm not even gonna try. I'm sorry. <laughs> the sacking of the sacking of the sacking. <laughs> it's a continuous sacking cycle. How many mooses, man? <laughs> Moose trained to mix concrete and sign complicated insurance. <laughs> Large moose on the left hand side of the screen and the third scene from the end, given a thorough grounding in Latin, French, and O level geography by Bobin. <laughs> I love, I love the self-awareness of that. Okay, no epilepsy. Really? Really? You guys can see the reaction of the flashing rainbows here. <laughs> 40 specially trained Ecuadorian mountain llamas. How many llamas? This is not Fortnite? Oh man, you got me there. You got me there. Really? Really? <laughs> it's gonna be one of them ones, isn't it? Where I'm gonna have so much to edit because I'm gonna react to everything. Who goes there? It is I, Arthur, son of Uther Pendragon from the castle of Camelot. We found them. Found them? In Mercia, the coconut's tropical. What do you mean? Well, this is a temperate zone. The swallow may fly south with the sun, or the house martin or the plover may seek warmer climes in winter, yet these are not strangers to our land. Are you suggesting coconuts migrate? <laughs> not at all. They could be carried. What? A swallow carrying a coconut? It could grip it by the husk. Listen, in order to maintain airspeed velocity, a swallow needs to beat its wings 43 times every second, right? Please! <laughs> Am I right? 43 times every second, right? <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> it could be carried by an African swallow. Oh, therefore, they just use a standard creeper. What? Held under the dorsal guide. Are these guys Charles oh, Darwin or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dead. What? <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm not dead. Yeah. He says he's not dead. Yes, he is. I'm not. He isn't. Well, he will be soon. He's very ill. I'm Regulation. I don't want to go on the car. Oh, don't be such a baby. I can't take him. I feel fine. Well, do us a favour. I can't. Well, can you hang around a couple of minutes? He won't be long. No, I've got to go to Robinson's. I've lost nine today. Well, who's your next <laughs> one? Thursday. I think I'll go for a walk. You're not fooling anyone, you know. Look. It was actually such a grim do. sight to begin with, and then they've just <laughs> laying it with comedic. <laughs> Like. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> See you on Thursday. Right, right. Come on. He hasn't got shit all over him. Oh, you have to applaud the effort of Arthur doing that. <laughs> no one lives there. Then who is your lord? We don't have a lord. What? I told you. We're an anarcho syndicalist commune. We take it in turns <laughs> to act as a sort of executive officer for the week. Yes. But all the decisions of that officer have to be ratified at a special bi-weekly meeting. Yes, I see. By a simple majority in the case of purely internal affairs. Be quiet. But by a two-thirds majority in the case of more Be quiet. I order you to be quiet. Signifying by divine providence that I, Arthur, was to carry Excalibur. <laughs> that is why I'm your king. <laughs> Listen, strange women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. Help, help, I'm being repressed, bloody peasant! Oh, what a giveaway. Do you hear that? Do you hear that, eh? That's what I'm on about. Did you see him repressing me? You saw it, didn't you? I love our King Arthur. <laughs> His entourage is just a man hitting two coconuts together. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to get half the references in this film because I don't know the full extent of the Arthurian story, but... I'm here to enjoy myself and you guys in the comment section will fool me because you guys are lovely in terms of your depth of knowledge with these films. <laughs> oh! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> That's never gonna get old, is it? <laughs> you fight with the strength of many men, Sir Knight. <laughs> now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? <laughs> Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? I've heard worse. You liar. Come on, you pansy. He's a tough cookie. He'll carry on. <laughs> Cheers, Jeff. <laughs> Thank thee, Lord, that in thy mouth. <laughs> Come on, then. What? How about you? Look, you stupid bastard, you've got no arms left. Yes, I have. Look! Just a flesh wound. <laughs> Look, stop that. Chicken! Chicken! Look, I'll have your leg. Right! How about you? Come on, then. Yep. He got the Darth Maul treatment. All right, we'll call it a draw. Come, Patsy. Oh, oh, I see. You know what this movie is kind of reminding me of so far? Um, I'm not sure. You guys have probably heard of it. I used to read these books in primary school called Horrible Histories. I don't know, like the ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that rings a bell, and I don't know if you guys are getting a sense of nostalgia right now with those book uh, mentions. But yeah, it's reminding me of that, and like sort of it's uh, satirical and like jokey take on these historical events <laughs> and you know what i find with these films that are like more humorous and that are more classical and that you know the ones that came out in the 60s 70s 80s um they tend to be also like really well shot like really really well shot we have found the witch might we burn huh? burn her! Burn her! Not a witch, I'm not a witch. <laughs> but you are dressed as one. They dressed me up like this. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this yeah, yeah. isn't my nose, it's a false one. Talk about a nose job. What makes you think she's a witch? <laughs> well, she turned me into a newt. A newt. A newt. <laughs> so, why do witches burn? <laughs> the IQ levels. Because <laughs> I made it good. Good. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Dude. <laughs> so, how do we tell whether she is made of wood? Build a bridge out of a... Ah, but can you not also make bridges out of stone? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, does a wood sink in water? No, 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 it floats. What also floats in water? Bread, apples, uh, very small rocks, cider, a great gravy, cherries, mud, a churches, churches, lead, lead, a duck. Exactly. So logically, if she logically as a duck. <laughs> She's made of wood, and therefore, she's a witch. <laughs> a witch! A witch! <laughs> yeah, we took a major detour right there, but we got back on track. We got back to the witch. <laughs> the lack of care for human life so far. So wise, the ways of science. I am Arthur, King of the Britons. My liege. Good tonight. Will you come with me to Camelot and join us at the round table? My liege, I would be honored. What is your name? Bedivere, my liege. Then I dub you Sir Bedivere, Knight of the Round Table. The wise Sir Bedivere was the first to join King Arthur's knights. But other <laughs> illustrious names were soon to follow. The not quite so brave as Sir Lancelot. Who had nearly fought the dragon of Angnor, who had <laughs> nearly stood up peak. to the vicious chicken of Bristol, <laughs> and who had personally wet himself at the Battle of Baden Hill throughout the centuries. The yo, knights yo. of the Round Table. Are we gonna check up on our girl here who's flipping the books? Are we gonna check up on our girl? I mean, she just got taken out by possibly King Gong or like a Yeti or Chewbacca. Who know? check up on her? This new Camelot. Camelot. It's only a model. <laughs> Knights, I bid you welcome to your new home. You know what it feels like? It feels like kids role playing. <laughs> like a group of kids just role playing and acting out and imagining things. <laughs> I like him, but I don't think he'll be very keen. Uh, he's already got one, you see? <laughs> Holy grail, what? baby. <laughs> He says they've already There's got Some Indiana one. Jones type stuff. <laughs> Are you sure he's got one? Oh yes, it's Shout out The Last answer. Crusade, what a film. I told him we already got one. <laughs> well, um, Arthur King, you and all your silly English niggas. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Pause! <laughs> what a strange. I love how his helmet looks like an now Easter egg. <laughs> Good man, I don't want to talk to you no more, you empty-headed animal food trough whopper. If you do not agree to my commands, then I shall... <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> right. Yep, just charge aimlessly at the wall. <laughs> no battle plan, no tactics. <laughs> And they're chucking Noah's Ark right back at him. <laughs> you know what I'm loving about this film so far? Like, it's so absurd, but you just buy into the absurdity from the get-go. And everyone is so distinct in their personalities. Like, the... It, you know what's like attracting me to the film? It's like the the voice inflections, the various differentiations in people's tones of voice, their facial expressions, the way they like mold their face when they're sort of explaining words and they're just over exaggerating everything. And it's just obviously you buy into the spoof, you buy into the satire, if it is that like you just buy into all the comedic elements and over exaggeration and over the top things. And it's absolutely hilarious to watch. And it seems like everyone is just having fun and mucking around. And it seems like the direction of this film, like the group that made it or like the individuals that made it, they're just basically having fun with it. And they're just over exaggerating everything. And they're just making it so random. And it just works. It's like all these random ideas being put together. And even before when you had sort of like the dance musical thing, at, um, I forgot what it started with the sea, like the the castle they were going to, um, and it was just quick cuts after quick cuts and random stuff after random stuff. But because it fits the film itself, it just works. <laughs>
And with these older films, they do some fantastic long takes as well. And there will be scenes in this film uh, so far where there's a fantastic sort of like long shot or wide shot capturing all the characters. And each character, um, the camera will hold itself right there and they do the talking without having to, you know, um, worry about various quick cuts to sort of close-ups or characters delivering their own lines there'll be various scenes where the characters are all in frame of one another and they're all talking in one fantastic long take which just goes to show as well it's a testament to like um the great directing um and effort the actors have put into rehearsing their roles and nailing um delivering their lines in sort of one take i i, I bet you this scene or oh, this film in general would have had various sort of um bloopers or like various times where they were to deliver their lines in sort of one take and one long take and it was stuff up by, you know, maybe someone laughing or someone not getting the act right. Or maybe half these scenes here are bloopers and they just kept the camera rolling and like just do whatever. Like a lot of improv. This guy and his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> the confusion on this man's face. <laughs> the Trojan horse? What, what, the English horse? The English mouse? The English rabbit? <laughs> Cadeau. Oui, oui. <laughs> and then leap out of the rabbit, taking the French uh, by surprise. And not only by surprise. Well, no, we're not in the rabbit. <laughs> Who leaps out? Uh, uh, Lancelot, Galahad, and I. Uh, leap out of the rabbit. Uh, and uh, <laughs> oh. if we built this large wooden badger. <laughs> Yo, how are these guys yeeting these things out the castle? This is what they did. <laughs> oh, these deaths are brutal, man. Oh, dear. He was not even the least bit scared to be mashed into a pole. I'm a lot 43. To have his eyes gouged out. Three times, an instant death. <laughs> <laughs> Three times. That's, nostrils that's, raped. Uh, that's enough music for now, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's dirty work afoot. <laughs> oh, Dennis returns. <laughs> Getting Evil Dead vibes of the camera work here. <laughs> Handheld, shaky cam, but still, you can see what's going on. The mist, the fog. <laughs> Your name, handsome knight? Uh, Sir Galahad, the chaste. <laughs> My suit, just suit. You would not be so ungallant as to refuse our hospitality. Sir Galahad, well, you wouldn't be so oh, ungallant I'm afraid to refuse our, our hospitality. Must seem very dull and <laughs> quiet compared to yours. It is a lonely life. <laughs> Bathing, dressing, undressing, making exciting underwear. We are just not used to handsome knights. Dr. Piglet, Dr. Winston, practice your art. I love how he's putting the shield over his body. <laughs> Please, we are doctors. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Come what the heck? I am sworn to justice. Back to your bed, at once. Torment me no longer. I have seen them. Oh. Why, hello there. <laughs> hello. 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 Bro, my guy just hit... Galahad just hit the jackpot of all jackpots. Zoot! No, I am Zoot's identical twin sister, Dingo. Oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> I give I up. I seek the grail. I have seen it here in this castle. Oh, no. Bad, bad Zoot. What is it? Oh, wicked, bad, naughty Zoot. She has been setting a light to our beacon, which I've just remembered is grail-shaped. Not the first time we've had this problem. 
do you think this scene should have been cut? <laughs> we were so worried when the boys were writing it. <laughs> but now we're glad. It's better than some of the previous scenes, I think. <laughs> At least ours was better visually. At least ours was committed. It wasn't just a string of pussy jokes. Get on with it. <laughs> yes, get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am enjoying this scene. Get on with it. <sighs> Hey, hey, let her enjoy the scene, man. Wicked, wicked suit. Me, you, yes, you must give us all a good spanking. Yo, there's threesome, there's foursome. There, it goes, what is this count, counted as? Like, what's the term for this? What's the, <laughs> do we just say orgy? <laughs> the way this feel like, I love how they're wearing white. To symbolize purity and chastity and things like that. Yet they're talking about the dirtiest things <laughs> and the naughtiest things. <laughs> like it is what it is. <laughs> and they're talking about the holy grail as well. It's just like the way this film is composited together, like the editing is absolutely fantastic. Like they knew where to insert everything. Like the comedic timing, the way things um, the editing sometimes will be comedic in itself, the way things juxtapose one another or the way a frame would cut to something else immediately um, to like form a joke or something like that. Like we just had, for instance, right there with the fourth wall breaking, talking about the scene being cut and things like that. Um, it's composited together really well. I love it now. Can now he wants to stay. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I don't think I was. Yes, you were. You were in terrible peril. Look, let me go back in there and save the peril. No, it's too perilous. My duty as a knight sobs as much peril as I can. Now we've got to find the holy ground. Come on. Meanwhile, King Arthur oh, the lady died. died. Not more than a swallow's Two backers now flipping the pages. discovered something. Oh, Vikings? <laughs> Who are you? We are the knights who say... No, not the knights who say me. The same! <laughs> who are they? Me, we me, are me. keepers of the sacred words. Peng and me <laughs> Peng ting. Those who hear them seldom live to tell the tale. Peng ting. The knights who say me demand a sacrifice. Knights of me. We are but simple travellers who knights seek the enchanter who lives beyond these woods. Me. <laughs> These guys remind me of the guys from Finding Nemo. <laughs> you know the birds? My, 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 my. <laughs> nah, man. I'm gonna annoy the crap out of his wife. <laughs> my, 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 my. <laughs> we shall say Nick again to you. Oh, oh no! You're just and fair, <laughs> and we will return with a shrubbery. One that looks nice. Of course. And not too expensive. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, these guys, like, the costumes he was wearing, like, the guy who was in the rating before they got killed, I was just like, <laughs> doesn't fit the time period. <laughs> that must be Godzilla stomping, baby. Please, get on with it. Get on with it! <laughs> now I'm saying it. <laughs> and you, Leo. I can see why this is such an iconic film. <laughs> the cartoon the, intermissions of oh, what a beautiful the tale color palette of Sir Lancelot. Guessing that's what a miniature like? oh, establishing shot right there as well. The Fantastic. Not like the curtains, lad. When I started here, all of us were swamped. Wreck? Well, the king said it was daft to build a castle on a swamp. Wreck? But I've built it all the same, just to show them. I built a second one. That sank into the swamp. So I built a third one. That burned down, fell over, then sank into the swamp. And the fourth <laughs> one stayed up. What's wrong with her? She's beautiful. She's rich. She's got huge tracts of land. <laughs> I know. But make sure the prince doesn't leave this room until I come and get him. Not to leave the room, even if you come and get him. No, no. Until I come and get him. Until you come and get him, we're not to enter the room. No, no, no. You stay in the room and make sure he doesn't leave. And you'll come and get him. Right. 
We don't need to do anything apart from just stop him entering the room. No, no. Leaving the room. <laughs> Leaving the room, yes. <laughs> All right? Right. right. Oh, if, 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 uh, if, if, uh, if, yeah, if, if we... Did the oh, same if... actors play various characters in this film? I, I feel like a lot of them look familiar. Oh, look, it's quite simple. Uh, I'll make sure... He doesn't leave the room. This is another fantastic long right. take right here. <laughs> oh, I remember. Uh, can he leave the room with us? You just keep him in here. I'll make sure. Oh, he... yes. We'll keep him in here, obviously. Right, right. We'll stay here until you get back. <laughs> and uh, make sure he doesn't leave. What? Make sure <laughs> he doesn't leave. <laughs> the prince? Yes, make sure he doesn't leave. Oh, yes, of course. I thought you meant him. You know, it seemed a bit daft me having to guard him when he's a guard. Is that clear? Oh, quite clear. No problem. <laughs> right. <laughs> They're leaving with him. Hey, you <laughs> we come with you. No, no, I want you to stay here and make sure he doesn't leave. Oh, I see. Right. Father. Shut your noise, you. That Get scene right there, that one take scene right there was absolutely fantastic. You know, you had this just... Steady long shot right there, just holding, holding. And the actors were absolutely fantastic in that one take scene. It, everything was perfect. It seemed all natural. It seemed all natural. It didn't seem rehearsed or anything. It seemed like, I don't know if that was an improv scene right there where it's just like, okay, here's the script or here's the basis of your acting or he's like sort of what you have to talk about and just improvise on the go. And I think between the two, uh, the the father and the one on the left, um, and the other individual didn't talk because all he was going was, like, <gasps> and then like I think it made it out to be it's like, okay, insert those <gasps> at random times and you two do the talking, but it was absolutely fantastic. It was all really well planned. Like it was one take and the mannerisms, the sort of reactions to certain lines was absolutely fantastic. And when the father went to go get the door, there was one certain look that really had me laughing and chuckling because of the way he responded to the other guy's sort of rehearsing of his lines or sort of um, rehearsing of his instructions that he had given. It was absolutely fantastic. Get that suit off. The hiccups, man. <laughs> He's just going to jump out the window. I mean, he's not. <laughs> the noise. <laughs> he's just like, thunk, thunk. Well taken, Concord. Thank you, sir. Most kind. And again? Nah, I've got to try that. I've got to try that, man. I've got to try the galloping. How do you do this thing? This is going to look hilarious. All right, we're going to get the Wonder Woman sword because, like, all right, it kind of fits. Time period, we gotta get the one Okay, how are they doing this thing? <laughs> it's like, I don't know how, man. You guys are laughing at me. I, I gotta do it for the content, right? Like, they get their left leg up and it's like, <laughs> that's effort, man. Like, how do you do this thing? All right, so you got right hand up, left hand towards the side. I got the sword out. So, how does this work? How is this gonna work? All right, like, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Oh man, I'm having too much fun with this reaction. <laughs> How are they doing that? <laughs> Wait, I, I gotta rewatch this. Oh. Message for you, son. <laughs> Bro, Tom can't speak that is me. the most bullshit. <laughs> Bro, the trajectory of that arrow out the window was. <laughs> Nah, fam. Nah. Literally, the trajectory of the arrow was a floppy Ooh, dick. Like, it was a floppy so disc. I have been... <laughs> Who wishes me to marry against my will? Please, please, please come and rescue me. I mean, if you I read that with your eyes closed or listen to it with your eyes closed. Swamp at last. <laughs> it's like he's saving I a call, princess. A cry of the knight in shining armor. A sign that leads us to the Holy Grail. Princess Fiona. Brave, brave Concord. You shall not have died in vain. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite dead, sir. Oh, I see. Actually, I think I'm all right to come with you. No, no, sweet Concord, <laughs> stay here. I will send help as soon as I've accomplished a daring and heroic rescue in my own particular... Idiom, sir? Idiom! Are they restarting the shot every time? It looks like he's running from the same... Spot every cutaway, it is! It's like he's not making any progress, he's on loop! 
Yo, he taking out. He taking out anyone. This is the Ides of March, but reversed? He played the Uno reverse card on that event. It's one guy doing the stabbing now. <laughs> the massacre on display here. <laughs> you get a stab. You get a stab. <laughs> Surely he's achieved the nuke by now. That's a 25 kill streak. Easily. That's a world record right here. Sorry. They cost 50 pounds each. Well, I'm also sorry. I'm really sorry. They're only extras. <laughs> what, the, what was that noise? <laughs> hey, talk about a red wedding. <laughs> Game of Thrones, baby. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. You see what I mean? I just get carried away. I'm pretty much awfully sorry. Sorry, sorry. Not bicker and argue about who killed who. We are here today to witness the union of two young people in the joyful bond of holy wedlock. Yeah, this is not the Scream franchise. We don't need to know who killed who. <laughs> my son Herbert has just fallen to his death. Gained the daughter. Oh. Woo! Since the tragic death of her father, he's not quite dead. <laughs> Since the near fatal wounding of her father, he's getting better. Yo, this guy and <laughs> Lancelot will get along Since with describing people who have been fatally wounded. Ooh, when he seemed about to recover, <laughs> suddenly felt the icy hand of death upon him. <laughs> oh, he's died. And I want his only daughter to look upon me. For their own dad. The very to look real, upon me. <laughs> and I feel sure <laughs> that the merger of the union between the princess and the brave but dangerous Sir Lancelot of Camelot. What? No. Oh, Camelot. <laughs> My friend and I will say. We will say. Ni. <laughs> Do your <laughs> Very well. If you will not assist us voluntarily. Ni. No. Ni. Never. I, I want you to spam the comment section with ni. Spam the comment section with ni. <laughs> no shrub. What is that? We are now no longer the knights who say ni. We are now the knights who say Therefore, <laughs> we must give you a test. <laughs> what is this test, <laughs> oh, knights, <laughs> knights who till recently said ni? Firstly, you must find another shrubbery. <laughs> So you get a two-level effect with a little path running down the middle. <laughs> 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 the mightiest tree in the forest. We need Pennywise to show up now. <laughs> and so Arthur and Bedivere and Sir Robin it's such a unique film, even with its cartoon intermissions, everything. I can see how at the time this would have like really surprised people. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> what are the Knights of Knee going to say now? Are they going to take a page out of uh, Pengu's book? Not, not! <laughs> and there was much rejoicing. Uh... <laughs> a year passed. Oh, you gotta move both feet to both feet together. Like the back foot almost touches the front foot when you move. Forward. 
Is this guy Michael Bay or something? He's just adding explosions. <laughs> yes, I can help you find the Holy Grail. <laughs> you get an explosion. You get an explosion. Explosion here. Explosion there. Kair Banog, wherein? Carved in mystic runes upon the very living rock. Then we best leave them here and carry on on foot. <laughs> hey, they couldn't afford horses for this film. It's not part of the production budget. <laughs> I love how they have. Uh, is it Robin? I think he has a chicken on his shield as the emblem. <laughs> or a cock, whatever it is. Behold the king of Carbano. Are we being... Well, yeah. <laughs> what, behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit. <laughs> you silly sod. You got us all worked up. Why, it's no ordinary rabbit. That's the most foul, cruel, and bad tempered rodent you ever set eyes on. Yeah, me too. Nibble your bum. He's got huge, sharp. <laughs> he can leap about. Look at the bones. <laughs> Go on, boss. Chop his head off. Right, silly little bleeder. Imagine he does get his ass. Yeah, I was. Oh, shit! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I've done it again! I warned you, but did you listen to me? Oh, no, you know. Oh, didn't you? oh it's just a harmless little bunny, isn't it? Well, it's always the same. I always <laughs> tell Shut them, up. do they listen to me? Oh, this rabbit. <laughs> no, not Robin, not Robin. Swim away, swim away! Brother Maynard, bring up the holy hand grenade! They weren't part of the entourage. <laughs> the holy hand grenade. You've got to be kidding. You've got to. <laughs> nah, man. You've How got does it. Um... <laughs> and cough. And anchovies and orangutans and breakfast cereals and fruit bats and yards. Skip a bit, brother. Get on with it. <laughs> and the Lord spake, saying, First shalt thou take out the holy pin. Then shalt thou count to three. No more, no less. Right. One, two, five. Three, sir. Three. <laughs> Did I get the rabbit? Same universe, multiverse, time travel. <laughs> oh, this is Gollum's lair right here. Oh, that's some eyes. Oh, yes. Nice. <laughs> 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 Hey, we go into animation. That's how we protect the budget. <laughs> Animator suffered a fatal heart attack. The cartoon peril was no more. Really? Really? <laughs> the quest for the Holy Grail could continue. There's the old man from scene 24. What's he doing here? <laughs> he has the keeper of the bridge of death. What? It's your favorite color. Blue. Fine. Off you go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Who approaches the bridge of death must answer me these questions three. This guy's an NPC in a game. He's just the same dying, same lines over and over again. <laughs> He's programmed. Ask me the questions, bridge keeper. I'm not afraid. He's the capital of Assyria. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> Oh my god, you got that wrong. They're losing men then by the second. Stop! What? Is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? What do you mean? An African or European swallow? <laughs> I, I don't know that. How do you know so much about swallows? Well, you have to know these things when you're a king, you know. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> French person! Today the blood of many a valiant knight shall be avenged. 
In the name of God, we shall not stop our fight till each one of you lies dead. How are they gonna get across the water? They're just. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Turns out this film's one big giant cosplay. <laughs> Even the cameraman. <laughs> Aww. Wait, is that it? Yo, that's it? That hour and a half went so quick. That was such a breeze to watch. What the heck? That was so quick. Are we just going to be staring at a black screen because the credits were done at the beginning? Yep, exactly. <laughs> hey, yo, that hour and a half was such a breeze. That was that was such a fun film to watch. And even though, um, obviously, I believe, what was it? 1970s it was made. 1970s it came out. Let me double check that. Um, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Um... Double check. Yeah, 1975 film. Oh, the same year that Jaws came out. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, even though it came out then, like it's still hilarious to watch. Like the over exaggeration, everything is just so over the top, and they didn't care about the jokes. They held no fuse. Like and, and like they were just they just kept going. Like they didn't care. Anyone could be made fun of. The terms they were using, um, they they just used it. They went hell for leather. They like they didn't give a crap and. The acting was just so good. Like, everyone played their part. And I I feel like multiple, like, actors played multiple roles. Like, I feel like I recognized certain actors in other roles as well. Um, and everyone did it to perfection. Like, if you want to display your range, just go to this film right here. <laughs> like, if you want to display your range as an actor or actress, go to Monty Python, man. You'll play different roles, different personalities. You'll look different, like, different types of makeup and costuming like it was absolutely fantastic like I, I thought it was going to be longer i was interested to see the payoff at the end i wonder if there's any sequels and if they do continue like from this story right here and like arthur getting captured by the police and things like that i'm interested to see how they explain that or it's just meant to end like that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction it's actually really well shot as well there's some fantastic one take scenes where they just let the comedy ride they let the actors play out in the scene let them do their thing no retakes, no cuts in between. Um, and it was absolutely fantastic to watch. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. As always, I, I had a little bit of fun with this one. It's been your boy, Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.